Ye who hold the sacred sword, ye have returned to the appointed spot. If you wish to interrupt your adventure, game, again, speak to me, the one that you have marked to prove your encounter. Hello everyone, and welcome back to more The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. And in this episode, I'm going to be basically explaining why I read that out for you. Because one thing with Majora's Mask, at least in the N64 version, is it has a really, really weird saving mechanic. It's not really as annoying though as, say, if you've ever played uh, a game known as, what's it, Oddworld Abe's Odyssey for the PS1? Yeah, it's not really at that sort of level, which is good, because the saving in that game, in my opinion, is just, it's awful. I mean, um, Exodus, you know, Abe's Exodus for the PS1, that, um, corrected that or so. But, uh, with this one, what it mainly involves is these L statues, you can use these to save your game, okay? And it literally saves to exactly where you are, so, you know, if I just saved right now, it will keep at the same hour, hour or so where it is, where it's, like, at 11pm at the minute. However, the thing is, when you play the game again, it will tell you that message, and you want to make sure that every time you turn off the game, you go to one of those statues, um, and then you tell it, you know, to basically turn off or so. So, in other words, uh, tell it to save the game and stuff, because what happens is, if you literally just start the game at one of those statues, and then you just click reset or something, it will just automatically, um... What's it? It'll just reset your game and it'll put you back to dawn of the first day. So just keep note of that, you know? They fixed this, I believe, in the 3DS version because it just allows you to save anywhere, anytime, and it keeps your progress. But uh, that's just a thing when it comes to the original. Oh, thanks for what you did back there. As a special just for you, I'll let you take this cruise for free. Oh, but wait, yes, just as I thought. It seems the poison swamp has been cleaned up, so why not try something that's more interesting? Yeah, sure. How about a little game? I'll fly around on my broom and you try to hit my target. Uh, does it sound fun? Yeah, sure. I <laughs> don't see why not. That's the way to go. But let me explain. You're not aiming for me with that bow. <laughs> You're aiming for the target. Okay, cool. If you hit me, I'll never forgive you. Well, to be honest, she says that, but I think I've hit her so many times, like in the past. However, she doesn't really appear to be affected by it. And, uh, yeah, that's basically all it is or so. You want to try and... Uh, hit this or so, which is not easy with the blimmin' Wii U gamepad, I will admit. <laughs> it's a lot easier on the N64's analog sticks, because they were programmed, you know, properly for this kind of thing. That, and also because I have a bit of input latency or so on this, which is a real pain in the ass. I mean, you knew that already, though, if you watched the... What's it, the one where I had to do the postman's side quest of... Trying to do mental training. That was a pain in the ass trying to do it. Still, I mean, I still had fun from it. However, um, I think you need to get a total... I forgot, where's she gone? What? Oh wait, she's right here, fair enough, cool. I was worried if I lost her then for a second. Um, you need to get a certain amount of score though in order to qualify for this, I believe. I forget what the score actually is, but usually I try to get at least around 30 and then hopefully things should go swell after that. Except I'm honestly not doing too good, uh, too good at the minute and stuff. I believe you only go around like once on the cruise and then that's it. But like she said, uh, she's just offering this as like a special for us, given the fact that we helped her out. And oh my god, really? Wow, that's brilliant. Um, yeah, because like we're helping her out and stuff, and also like she said, the whole swamp has been cleaned up. So you can pretty much only do this, you know, once you've defeated Adolwa and done the thing inside the Woodfall Temple. You can't really do this before or anything like that, sadly, but... Oh well, they're just rules to follow, aren't they? I'm pretty sure it's 30 that you need. Oh, goodness. This is not going well at all, is it? Bloody hell. I'm so not looking forward to the other ones, where you literally have to try and get around... Uh, what is it? There are other shooting minigames, shall I just say. Where you have to try and get... Uh, oh, god damn it, really? Oh, god. Okay, no, that's brilliant. I just failed for this, didn't I? Oh, well, that went swell, didn't it? What does she say? To shoot a pathetic old hag ten times? I'd like to see your parents' faces when they hear of it. Oh, okay, fair enough. I learned something new then. Try not to hit her ten times or she won't like it. Uh, yeah, okay, I'll gladly do that. Damn it. Let's try this again this time and hopefully not hit you. <laughs> oh dear. That's actually honestly never happened to me because usually I'm okay with aiming. But... Uh, when I play this game, I don't often play the Wii U version, you know, because um, I often just boot up my N64 version and stuff. In fact, the very first time I played this game was on the Wii's Virtual Console back in 2012. 
I'm pretty sure I talked about this before, but that is the version that I played first. So I didn't really grow up with this game as a kid. And that's the reason why it's actually not, uh, you know, my favourite game of all time. It's not my favourite of all time because of nostalgia's sake. Uh, because my nostalgia of childhood for this game is pretty much naught. I played this game pretty much while in secondary school, to be honest. Uh, which was back in, like, 2012. Okay, where's she gone now? She's over here, isn't she? Yeah, cool. So try not to hit her ten times. In this case, I'm going to be here a while. Oh, God. That's already three times now. This is... This is so tragic. Okay, right. No, stop hitting the freaking hag. I want you to try and hit the target. Oh my god, I'm making this look so much harder than it is. Well, really, guys, it's honestly not that bad. Like, seriously. It's just, it's so jaggy, like, moving the analog stick around. Maybe I need to experiment with, like, the Wii U and so. Like, oh god. <laughs> I need to try out, um, maybe just the classic controller for this kind of thing. There is, I don't know. But, I mean, I find it quite humorous, anyway. Because, <laughs> I mean, I've got through, like, most of these things most of the time in Majora's Mask. Because, even though I have... Oh, for frick's sake. I have only 100% of this game, like, once, to be honest. Um, I have literally just come back to this game, you know, from time to time. So, a lot of the things that I'm doing in Woodfall, I have repeatedly done. And they're, like, the back of my head. Really? God damn it, woman. Really? Or, no, no, not woman. Myself, shall I say. Oh, well, I actually got that one through the dark. Alright, come on, hit the thing. What are you doing? Okay, one more, maybe? C come on, do it. Don't hit the hag. Don't hit the hag. What are you doing, Link? Hit the thing. Alright, one more hit, maybe? There we go. Okay, I got 30. Hopefully, that should do it. Jesus Christ, that went on for a bit long, didn't it? 30, pretty good, considering. Well, as I promised, here, take this. Okay, good. Yeah, so I got all that out of the way. If you do that minigame and try not to hit her 10 times, um, you get a piece of heart. I don't know if you need actually 30, though. You don't honestly have to do your research, because I'm pretty terrible at facts. Now, wasn't that fun? If you'd like to play a game, come back and uh, see me. Cool. So, with all that done out of the way, um, I believe I spooked you before? Uh, yeah, exactly. The contest has ended, hasn't it? Which is kind of strange, because um, it's dawn of the first day. Unless maybe for the pictograph contest, you need to do it before you defeat a dolwar and save uh, basically Woodfall and stuff, you know? So we can't really do much about this for now, I guess. Uh, what can I do then, at a time like this or so? I mean, I could do a couple of things, because, I mean, given the fact that now I have a bow, it allows me to do extra things in Clock Town as well as just other places. So what I'm going to do right now, just to make things a little bit easier for me, is go all the way out here and just see if that little shop place is open. And it's not really a shop place, it's more of just some kind of um, targeting practice. Oh, by the way, these right here are known as Wolfos. Yeah, cool, so you lure it in and watch its movements. It doesn't look like it's toe uh, to be touched. Indeed, yeah, because if you hit them from the back, what my strategy usually is with these is you do that, wait for them to turn around, and if you hit them at the back, uh, they basically die in one hit, you know, if you do a jump attack, really. It's the same with White Wolfos as well, which we're going to be seeing a bit later throughout the game. I don't know if the place is actually open, though, because ideally I would like to go here and get a, a larger quiver. Because I'm pretty sure when you clear this place, if my memory serves correctly, that is what you get at the end of it. I don't know, but we're about to find out. Oh, it's closed. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, God damn it! Everywhere I'm going at the minute seems to be shut or shut down or not open yet. Things are just... they're not going too good, are they? Um, okay, so let me just think about... hold on. Okay, I'll tell you what I'm actually going to do. I am literally going to dedicate this whole episode uh, to just trying to get as much stuff done involving shooting with my bow. Because now that I have it, I mean, I might as well just get the most things that I can done with it, you know? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move on to, like, dawn of the second day. And I believe it said it was open at 9am, didn't it? Uh, so however, the only tragic thing is, you know, I've slowed down time, really. So it may take a bit of a while for it to tick over to that. Then again, I could just disable, like, the inverted song of time and stuff. It just depends. Or it might be open. To be honest, I'm not sure. I've already forgot the time. <laughs> Isn't it weird how I remember, like, where to go and stuff? But when it comes to schedules and things, I just can't remember anything. Especially, like, with the bomber's notebook password. I'm always forever forgetting that. It's really weird. Hello. Are you okay? Hi, <laughs> mate. How are ya? Wanna play? Indeed. And it's only, like, 20 rupees. So that's fun, that me. Okay, so what do I gotta do? 
The rules to me game are a piece of cake. <laughs> Shoot for the targets from atop the platform. You gotta hit them all. That's all there is to it. I love the dialogue, man. If you don't aim proper with analog stick, you won't hit any of them. Are you ready, mate? Indeed. I was like Australian or some. <laughs> all right, cool. <laughs> Uh, one thing I would recommend that you do is try to hit as much of these as you can and not screw up. Goddamn fiddly passing things again. Alright, um. Also, when you hear like the birds' noises, that is when you want to try and hit those birds because uh, if you don't hear those birds' noises, it means that they're not available just yet, you know? Oh, and by the way, when you see one of these wolves, try to hit them if I can with this bloody analog stick. Jesus Christ! This is a running gag in this LP, isn't it? Just, ah, the damn analog stick, no! The analog stick strikes again, you know? Oh, and there's the birds. When you find the birds, though, literally just stay where you are and keep hitting them like this. That is what I recommend. Because then it just makes it a lot easier, you know? Okay, cool. So after that, um, you should hopefully be okay. Or at least, in my case, no, probably not. <laughs> But, I don't know, just you learn things along the way and stuff. It's kind of hard to commentate on this, you know, while doing like this type of minigame at the same time. Okay, now are they going to do their thing? Indeed. Can I get all of them done like this though? Nice, I can. And is that all of them? Not quite. There's a wolf over there. Wolf, 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 come back. Oh my god. Wow, I actually nearly missed the wolf. Come on, don't miss the bird. Oh no. Oh dear. Okay, come on, hit the bird. Somebody hit the bird. I want to hit the bird! No! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Just because of the freaking analog stick sensitivity, this has screwed me over. So now I'm going to have to do this damn thing again. Oh my god, wait, I still have a chance. Do I? Miss, I'm not sure. I mean, I might be okay, it depends. Well, looks like you got to try a bit harder, mate. Now, want to play again, mate? Yes, as long as this bloody analog stick will function properly. Jesus. Right, there we go. Thank God for that. Okay, I'm sw I am trying... I'm gonna switch my controller. I don't care. The, the, playing this with the Wii U gamepad is horrible. I don't like this, like, at all. Mainly because, you know, it has, like, some sort of input latency, and it delays my control when I'm trying to aim accurately. On the S64's analog stick, all I have to do is just slightly move it around, and it's fine. Well, that's pretty darn good, mate. Perfect. Here you go. Take this, mate. Okay, so that we get a large quiver. Okay, at least I got all that out of the way, so that's fine by me. Hey, tell your friends all uh, about us, alright, mate? Bloody hell. Wow, brilliant. Well, at least with all that done out of the way, that drained a bit of time, didn't it? But honestly, wow, this is horrible. It might be just my telly, because um, let me just demonstrate, okay? With, like, what I had to do. I'm trying to deal with, with input delay. So, you know this, yeah? I'm pressing B right about now. And I'm pressing B right about now. And now. And now. You see, that's the sort of delay I'm having to deal with, unfortunately, when trying to record this. I don't know if it's the Wii U gamepad, uh, or at least just the port of this, really, but... Um, or it might just be the television itself, but I don't know. This is making it a lot harder than it seems. Usually I have no troubles on that one at all. The one I do literally have trouble on with, though, is the one in Clock Town, but of course it's probably going to go the opposite way, and that one's going to be easy or something like that. Because I don't know. In fact, it's daytime at the minute, isn't it? So I suppose we could try going there and see how we do. I'm probably going to blame the controller for this, though. <laughs> it just depends. Alright, guys, so that's just Song of Soaring our way onto uh, Clock Town, because uh, there are two items that we can get at the minute. Also, I hope the shop is open at this sort of time anyway. Because, um, now that I've got the bow, like I was saying, it means, like, basically I can do a couple more things. That's the reason why I didn't really bother going to these shops the first time, because otherwise I would go in there and say, Hey, do you want to play? And I'd be like, yeah, sure. Ah, oh, too bad, you don't have a bow. But I do now. So, yeah, I can do a lot more things nowadays. So, you know, that makes things a little bit easier for me, doesn't it? And it especially helps given the fact that the time is slowed down. Alright, for some reason I thought I heard, like, the the final day sort of uh, song in the background, you know, with the 
the really disturbing thing going on while the clock tower music plays. I don't know why, I just suddenly thought I heard that for some reason. Also, uh, this place, by the way, which I might as well tell you about, is uh, Honey and Darling's shop, a gaming centre, changing daily. The reason why it says changing daily is because um, what we mainly need to do is try and do a similar thing, you know, where we did like the Deku mini game at the very beginning. Where we need to try and uh, beat one of their games in three days in a row. So it's pointless doing this at the minute because I'm not really going to get anything like that, you know, because I'm already on the second day because I moved the day forward. So uh, there's not really much point in doing that, really. However, this right here is the town shooting gallery. And this is probably where I'm going to cry because this one is really difficult. Or at least the first one's okay, but trying to get a perfect on this is ridiculous. If you think you can do it, why don't you give it a try, Sonny? Okay, cool. I don't know what it is I'm doing exactly. This is the first time I've come here, but fine. <laughs> All right, Sonny, the rules are simple. Hit as many red ones as you can within the time limit. If you hit a blue one, you lose time, so watch out. You can use as many arrows as you'd like. Press B to shoot them. Okay, cool. Let's see how we do. Our highest score is 39. If you break the record, you'll win a spectacular prize. Good luck. I will need that, sir. Oh, boy. So yeah, basically we have to do exactly what he says, and I've already uh, virtually screwed up on that one right there. Uh, so yeah, you mainly just want to move around like this or so, trying to hit them or so. At least the, uh, I believe the default to moving around on the uh, actual arrows is it okay on this, really? Oh my god. Okay, maybe it isn't. But that time I saved myself, so that's fine by me. Um, because, you know, when you like move around and stuff, I always find that it's actually quite programmed very well for like moving around, at least on the N64 version it's better because it's horrible on this, but you should know that already because I've been complaining about that a lot, you know. So uh, let's just see how we do on this really, there isn't really much to talk about while I'm doing this though to be honest. Alright cool, now this is the one that I hate. Oh I hate this bit or so, because you have to do it so goddamn fast and I already screwed it up, oh my god wow, I freaking suck at this man. Okay, oh my god wow really? And if I didn't hit that blue one, I probably most likely uh, would have gotten a perfect the first time. Well, you know what? That freaking sucks, man. Okay, right, so let's see now. I'm going to keep on doing it. Uh, okay, so I needed to beat, like, what was it? 38 or something? But that's fine by me because, I mean, I got 47. Well, look at that. You hit 47. That's a new record. Well, here you go. Okay, and with that, we get an even larger quiver known as the largest quiver, which holds up to 50 arrows now. So basically, I've got those two quivers, uh, you know, to the make the uh, capacity of my arrows a lot better, really. Um, so that makes that a hell of a lot more easier. Sorry about that, I had a bit of an interruption there and stuff. But um, this time, what we're going to do now is try and beat the high score. In this case, uh, when I go up to here, he'll tell me what the high score is, because I forgot it already. It's 47. The actual highest score we get, we need to get is a perfect, which is known as a 50. And I actually nearly got that first time, so it's a real shame that I kind of screwed it up on that particular segment. But, uh, I'm going to try this again and let's see how we do. You hit 40, did you? Oh, that's too bad. So you can't stop, can you? You can play as often as you'd like, as long as you have enough rubies. Uh, okay. Oh, God. I really shouldn't have got a high score at the beginning and stuff, because then it means... As long as I beat that score, that is when I'll get more rupees back. Every time you beat your high score, by the way, you get given 50 rupees back. But in this case, that's probably not going to happen for me. And that kind of saddens me, to be honest. Warning. The following scenes coming up contain a lot of rage, censoring, and all kinds of stuff, really, that steers away from what I usually do. Basically, I yell and moan and rage a lot and that, so I recommend at this point in time, you should probably turn your headphones down if you don't want to be deafened. You have been warned. Oh my god, stop fidgeting. No, 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 god damn it. I hate this I really hate this Well, isn't that just great? I'm on like my last batch of rupees. Okay, don't it's up for me this time, f***ing controller. No, don't! Oh, you son of a! No, what are you doing? It wasn't f***ing hitting anything. Are you f***ing kidding me? I'm gonna have to do this shit again. Oh my f***ing god! Give me a second or so. I need to try and collect as much rupees as I can in order to get this done again. Okay, there we go. 107 rupees this time. Hopefully now. Everything should go fine. At least I got a bigger quiver at the end of it, though. Let's give us another go and see how we do. 
Oh my god, this is ridiculous. Yeah, I know how to play. Thank you very much. Okay, no, 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 come on. Do it, do it. One, two, three. Holy balls! No, 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 no! <laughs> oh, f***ing hell! Are you f***ing shitting me? No! 49! 49! Oh my Christ! Oh Jesus, well at least I got 50 rupees on this. There's the proof, you know, that if you beat your high school, you get 50 rupees. But, oh my god, great, that's brilliant. <laughs> I missed out one because of the bloody input latency. And now I'm gonna have to do it again. Well, God damn it, son! Keep on doing it, Link. Keep no, 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 no! You f***ing piece of shit! Again with a f***ing input latency for f***ing Christ's sake! Oh my God, I'm not even that f***ed up. I'm just exaggerating now. But it, it oh Jesus, it's aggravating, man. <laughs> okay, I've literally just discovered something, by the way. I thought it was the television causing like an input delay, but no, it's literally the Wii U version because I'm looking at the gamepad while doing this as well, and it's still performing the same stu- OH MY F- DON'T- DON'T- <laughs> Okay, one, two, three, four, five. There we go. Keep doing it, Link. Don't f*** it up, Link! Don't f*** it up! No, you f*** it up, you piece of sh Turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit of Okay, turn around. Okay, right, keep going. No, 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 no! F***ing hell! Are you f***ing kidding me? I'm gonna do this f***ing piece of sh again! Oh my f***ing Christ! <laughs> no! Because I don't have f***ing enough money, you <laughs> sake! This is ridiculous! No, 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 Okay, I've been recording for like nearly an hour now, and I still can't do it. I'm gonna try one more time though, by just literally moving onwards to the next day, because hopefully on dawn of the final day, um, I will be actually able to do it. I don't know why this has been so hard. Again, I mainly blame, uh, or at least blame like the port of this. Because I'm even using a Wii Classic controller that's connected to a Wii Remote at the minute, not the Wii U gamepad, and I am still experiencing some kind of delay. It seems that Nintendo have just released it like this, and why they did that, I don't know. I mean, usually when I play this on the N64 version and stuff, um, I don't really have any of these problems, but this is really big. Considering the fact that, you know, it's a game where you need to try and get a perfect score. But of course, trying to do that with an input delay is really, really difficult. I mean, I'm okay with some, like, input latencies in certain games and stuff, but... A game like this, where you need to try and get the things done in time. You know, you need to basically try and hit every Octorop possible. Um, it should not really be that bad or so, and the accuracy should be good. But it's very jerky when you're trying to do it. And in case you can't tell at the turn of my voice, I'm a bit tired right now. I'm trying to do this. But um, I'm going to proceed and, and try to get this done. Because I mean, I at least want this to get done and out of the way so that then I don't have to have this um, at the back of my mind, if you will. Because I've constantly just... You need 20 rupees in order to use it. So I've constantly uh, having to, every time I've lost one game, go all the way back out and, you know, just dr grind at least for rupees as the Deku by going out to that grassy patch and just collecting like five at a time every time because every other place that I've been to in Clocktown I have pretty much used up all the 100 rupee thing at least I think I have anyway <laughs> but I'm just gonna keep going <laughs>
Thank goodness. I have been here for so long. You have absolutely no idea. Huh? No way? That was perfect. Well, here you go. About bloody time. This is all it was for, guys, okay? Okay, I'm looking at my timer right now, and now I'm a bit more calm and collected, okay? It says an hour and 44 minutes so far, you know? And now I've finally got this piece of heart, and I started this episode, like, literally at the beginning, you know, like, starting from the save point when I was showing everything off. That is how long this recording session has taken, but finally, I have got this thing and I don't have to worry about it ever again. This may be our last day in business, and you shot pretty well. Oh, he actually tells you something different, because I mean, I remember in the practice file, you see, uh, he basically said, Wow, that no way, that's perfect, that's really good of you, you know? But because this is on the final day, he too, much like all the other NPCs, says uh, something completely different, you know? Originally, I was going to hope that I would do it nice and well and everything and then just end the episode off there because um, earlier I was my mind just went to blank. <laughs> I was feeling absolutely nothing like during all that. In the end, I just I was just calm and collected really because honestly, uh, let me tell you something that I like to do most of the time. So often when I find myself getting really stressed with games because honestly, I was like going like, I swear, like Rooster Teeth, uh, you know, his Rage Quit series levels of kind of things when it came to doing that game. I find that when you do that, when you play games when you're stressed, you don't really get anywhere, in my opinion and stuff. In the end, you end up getting more stressed and that, and it puts you off your concentration, and then you end up getting more stressed because you can't do the basics of things. So, you know, after a while, my mind just, it went to blank, really, and I just continued but kept myself calm and collected and thought right instead of just getting wound up by simple things going wrong I'm gonna understand why they went wrong in the first place and try to solve it but again I mainly blame the reason why that took so long is like you know like how I've, how I've been talking about like at the beginning and stuff the input delay for this because honestly there is like I've looked at this on the television and also on the Wii U gamepad itself and there is a slight millisecond delay and now I know it's only a millisecond of things, and it's okay for stuff like rolling around and hitting enemies and stuff, but trying to be accurate while aiming with a bow with a input lag, you know, that's a problem. That's a real big problem I have also. Also, that is really weird draw distance in the background there for that kid. But, well, at a time like this, I honestly reckon that I'm going to end off the episode here. Oh my Jesus Christ, this took so bloody long. You have no bloody idea and stuff. In fact, hold on, wait, let me just do something for a second, okay? Um, so I've literally taken a screenshot and I'm gonna present it to you right now of like what it's all like, you know, to just to show you the timer for how long it is at the minute. It should be like at an hour and 46 minutes. That is uh, literally just as soon as I said I've taken the screenshot and stuff, just for evidence of how long this goddamn took. I never usually get this in LPs and stuff, but whatever, I guess you... <laughs> get this kind of thing at some point in your life, don't you? So take care guys, I hope you've enjoyed this episode, because I sure had a really fun time recording it, as you can tell. Ha ha ha. And um, I will see you in the next one. At least I don't have to worry about that thing ever again now. It is pretty hard though, I will admit.